From a secret location in Hong Kong, someone claiming to be Edward Snowden today defended his outing of classified U.S. intelligence programs. And the former NSA contractor challenged authorities to do anything about it. The U.S. government is not going to be able to cover this up by jailing or murdering me, Snowden wrote in an online chat. Truth is coming, and it cannot be stopped. For an hour and 40 minutes, Snowden answered questions on the website of The Guardian, that's the British newspaper, which published Snowden's leaks detailing the National Security Agency's sweeping collection of Internet and telephone data. Snowden, who's promised to fight extradition from Hong Kong, said the U.S. government has destroyed any possibility of a fair trial at home, openly declaring me guilty of treason. Yeah, I could be, you know, rendered by the CIA. I, Snowden I said he came forward to rebut what he called lies from U.S. officials. He chastised the Director of National Intelligence, James Clapper, for testifying to Congress in March that the NSA had not wittingly collected data on Americans. Baldly lying to the public without repercussion, Snowden wrote, is the evidence of a subverted democracy. Snowden said he disclosed details about programs he feels violate civil liberties and privacy. I did not reveal any U.S. operations against legitimate military targets, he wrote. But over the weekend, Snowden spilled surveillance secrets involving more than American citizens when he revealed U.S. and British intelligence spied on summit partners at the G20 meetings in London in 2009. He produced a document suggesting the NSA tracked the communications of then-Russian President Dmitry Medvedev. Now, Snowden dismissed allegations that he might be a Chinese spy, but he did not directly answer a question asking him if it ever trade U.S. secrets for political asylum. And Scott, he claims he has much more to reveal. And charges against Snowden may be coming at any time. Thank you very much, Bob.